Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Nelly here. Today, we're starting a little new segment on YouTube called Mailbag. So, I got these two packages in the mail today, and we're going to open them up. There's some baseball cards in here. I don't know which ones are here, but we're going to find out in a second. You're going to find out as well. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. So first one, we have Dustin May, 2020 Top Series 1. So this is his rookie card right here. Let's, uh, let's open it up and take... A peek. So I ended up buying 20 of these right here. Let's take a look. Maybe I won't take them out, all of them out just yet, but uh, yeah, we can. Okay. So there we go again. So I I've got uh, I've got twenty of them here. They all look pretty good. All right, so why did I decide to get Dustin May? Uh, these are not graded, by the way. These are just raw cards. And so so far, I have been basically buying all graded cards. I think every card I have pretty much is a uh, PSA ten. And so. Um, a little bit of this is for an experiment, but also, you know, I'm not just picking any players. I'm not just buying any cards. But I do want to see what happens when you buy raw cards on eBay. And I won't send all of these in to get graded, but I do want to send some of them in just to kind of test it out and see how it works. So Dustin May, why did I pick Dustin May? Um, you know, typically pitchers are not, you know, their cards are not valued the same way that a position player would be. Uh, but I do think when it comes to May, I think he may be the next really, really solid, spectacular, possibly young pitcher. Uh, I was thinking about players that are under 25. Some of the best players in the game I actually have a video coming out soon about this. And May makes my top five, the top four hitters, and then May is the first pitcher under 25 um, that I have on that list. And so, you know, we saw what he could do this year in the playoffs. He throws 100 miles an hour. His ball moves a ton. It runs like this much. He's got a really hard breaking ball. He's got a cutter at like 95. He's huge. He's got a whole lot of hair. And, uh, he just won a World Series, and I think he's going to be, obviously, the, the, the question with pitching is, can you stay healthy? And that is a huge question. Lots and lots of pitchers get injured, but hopefully he stays healthy um, because I think he has the stuff to be a dominant starter for a really, really long time. And so I was able to grab these cards. I got them for like a dollar. I got them just over a dollar card. So I think I spent uh, tw I spent twenty something bucks on twenty rookie cards that are all they seem like they're in you know really really good condition and so his uh, his PSA tens have been going for it's been kind of like bouncing around between fifty and like seventy bucks the last time I checked and so I don't know how many PSA tens we have out of here but I do think again I think that there is still a lot of upside with him because I think he has a chance to be one of the top pitchers in the league he's one of the top young pitchers and uh, he definitely has the stuff so that's why I decided to grab him now I have another pack right here so let's see who's in here and here we have Kyle Lewis hopefully you can see that from the Seattle Mariners so Lewis, well, first off, let's open this up. Now, we did the same exact thing. 
ended up getting 20 of these Top Series 1 rookie cards, 2020, of Lewis. They look pretty good as well. Okay, so why did I go with Kyle Lewis? Kind of the same reasons I went with Dustin May when I put together my list of 10 players that are 25 years old or younger, Kyle Lewis is not in my top five. It's really hard to get in the top five because you've got guys like Soto and you've got Tatis and Acuna and, and Robert. Um, and those guys are really, really good. But I think Kyle Lewis just misses out on that top five. He's probably somewhere like six to 10. He, uh, he had a great year this year. 11 homers, I think, 264 average, somewhere right around there. But he can really hit. It's like 6'4". He's a great athlete. And, uh, you know, he's oh, 25 years old. I think he's right at 25 years old. He's a high first-round pick. I believe he was a Golden Spikes Award winner in college. And so he was a great player in college, maybe the best player in college. He went in the first round, I think like 10th or 11th overall, somewhere around there to Seattle. He's come up to the big leagues quickly. And ever since he's gotten to the big leagues, he's shown that he's got a lot of power. It's kind of hitting in that 260 range. And so hopefully that can continue to, to get better. But the power is going to be there. He's got the size and the strength and the athleticism. And I think he's going to be a really, really good player. And uh, his PSA 10... I think was around like 70 bucks or so. I ended up getting these cards for $3 a card, I believe. I think I spent 60 bucks to get 20 of these. And uh, and so again, do I think that these could be worth a lot more down the line? I do. I think that if the card market continues, obviously the card market has exploded. Um, but I don't think that we've... Yeah, I'd say that we're still probably, I don't want to say early, but I do think more and more fans and more and more people are going to get into cards. Um, people that are around my age that when they were younger collected a lot of cards. I collected tons of cards when I was younger and then I stopped doing it for a long time. And then all of a sudden uh, I, I look one day and I'm like, man, cards are like back and popular again, getting popular. And I think a lot of people are going to continue to kind of jump on that bandwagon. And uh, and so we'll see where it goes. But I do think that both of these cards, I think, will be worth more over the next couple of years. I think both of these players are great young players. They're going to have great careers if they can both stay healthy. And, uh, and again, I wanted to just kind of test it out and see how it works with grading. How easy is it to get these graded at, at, a, at a PSA 10? Um, and just so I can start to kind of learn uh, and hopefully... Hell, hopefully we get 40 PSA 10s. I don't think that's going to happen. But I do have some other cards that will be coming in the mail shortly. Some other players that I think are are great players, young, mostly young players that I think have really high upside. And uh, when those get here, I'll show you those as well. So let me know what you think about these two players. Uh, let me know um, what other players you think that I should be buying. If I'm going to buy raw cards and try to get them graded, not all of them, but some of them, the good ones, the ones that look good. Uh, let me know what players I should be going after. So that's all we have today. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.